Welcome to this tutorial where we will review how to receive several batches or several serial numbers against a single goods in transit work. Using this feature, users can receive and assign several batches or serial numbers against a goods in transit order in single goods in transit receiving work. This feature is managed by the Feature Management Workspace and it's available since application version 10.0.35. First, I'll navigate to the Feature Management Workspace to ensure that the split goods in transit order quantity and assign batch serial number when receiving via mobile device feature is enabled. Moving to the voyage, and I've created this voyage for purchase order 66. Here we have single voyage line for item 10123, where the quantity 10 each is. I've posted the purchase order invoice. So here we have single goods in transit order. I'll move to the warehouse management mobile application and here I'm gonna use the goods in transit receiving and put away menu item. First, we have to enter the voyage number. Then the shipping container. Then here we have to scan the item 10123. Then we have to specify the quantity. We are gonna receive the entire quantity 10 each, but we are gonna split them in two different batch numbers. So here I'll enter 10. Then I'll confirm. Here we have to scan the first batch. Let's say uh, batch B. 401 here i'll change the or modify the quantity instead of 10 each i'll receive only three against this batch so i'll click ok then here we have to specify the expiration date 1 1 20 25 then here we have to scan the second batch so i'll, I'll say this b402 the quantity is the remaining quantity seven each i'll specify the expiration date 1 1 2 20, 25. then i'll click ok so now we have received the 10 each in two batches let's review the inventory transactions so here we can see that we have two batches and if I navigate to the work so we can see here that we received the 10 each's in single work 